Hello YouTube land, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I just wanted to do a little showcase of um, my undead for my oath mark. Now every model has been converted in some way so I'm not going to go into, into the whole thing because that would just be a fucking enormous video. But I'll just uh, show off a few of my favourite little conversions. Uh, the, re the reason I want to do this is because um, I had my first actual game of Oathmark with my friend uh, on Friday. And uh, no one at the club had even heard of Oathmark, really. And uh, I got a lot of attention. We, the whole Our table got a lot of attention. People coming over saying, what are you playing? You know, is it Warhammer Fantasy? I was like, similar, but better, in my opinion. And uh, people really liked my undead conversions, so I thought I'd show you a few of them off. Uh, you've seen the cavalry, I think. I did a video on them. I don't know if I went into detail about the conversions. I think I did actually, because people were asking me about the barden. The is that what's called the metal bits I did on the horses? So I won't go into too much detail with that. Yeah, if you want to see the cavalry, they're in another video. But um, I may have even put the chariots in another video. I don't know. But that's what that's the main one people were talking about. So I want to show that. Off. But um, I'll show this guy as well, leading my, um, he got a lot of attention, leading my uh, spearman. He's called Baldrick Bloodletter. He's from a company, Die Hard Miniatures. They make metal, like old school Warhammer vibe stuff. And I, when I saw that model, I fell in love with him. And you should too. Go buy them. Go check out their, their website. Actually, they have some awesome old school fantasy looking stuff. You know, I've, I've meaning to buy more from them, actually. I just, just I get distracted. You know how it is. There's always another gaming system. You know, I might even get distracted from Oathmark completely now because the new Imperial Guard stuff from 40k is amazing. I won't be playing the game because, in my opinion, 40k sucks right now. But I love the new model, so I might just paint an army. But that's, that's a video for another time. Yeah, so I'll show... Um, I'll show you this. I, I like this one. This one got a lot of attention as well. This whole squad are kind of all bloody. You know, like they're worshipping some sort of dark chaos god or something. And some eldritch horror has come out of this casket. And infected these undead. So I made this cool little thing. Yeah, oh. There you go. See like the tentacles coming out all covered in uh, blood. Yeah, that casket is, I think it's a, it's meant to be like a banner from like, or not a banner, but you know, like some sort of totem from um, Sisters of Battle kit that I got from a while ago, and I thought that would look cool. This guy is rad as well, I really like this guy. He's uh, in some sort of torture device, but you know what? Does he look happy about it? I think so. You know how chaos works. They've been worshipping something naughty. This guy's pretty cool as well. Don't know what he is, but he's like a... I, I assume that's an orc skull from like 40k, so I thought he could be like you know, an ancient dead orc or some shit. Just come out of the ground again, that's why he's covered in crap. This guy was an old crew, actually. An old crew I had in my bits box. I uh, used some different bits from my bits box to make him. Half the parts I have no idea where they're from, so you know that's a bit of a useless example of a conversion, isn't it? I do lots of uh, the hoods, uh, the the cloaks. These are Oathmark skeletons, and I used the cloaks. I just shoved green stuff on them and stretched them out and waited till it dried, and it kind of looks like cloaks, you know. And then the the faces, I um, well, I cut, I drilled the faces out and like just shoved stuff in them, really like pointy things, and then covered them in a mix of um, uh, I don't know what the color's called. It's a uh, Games Workshop blood. Whoops. Uh, what's it called? It's here somewhere. You know that technical paint, blood for the blood god, and uh, mixed it in with some like sand, and it um makes a nice gloopy paste kind of, and you would slop it on, and it looks all horrible. Yeah, so that's them. My vampire, she got a bit of attention. I thought she was pretty cool, but probably my favourite model I've ever painted, actually. I really love her. I know I say that about a lot of models, but hey-ho. 
Yeah, and then the chariots, like the, these guys, um, they performed very well actually in the game. I was really impressed. You know, fast moving. They hit. Uh, they hit hard when they they hit. You know, when you get into combat with them. And uh, yeah, I was just overall very happy with them. And I, this is my favorite, one of my favorite conversions I've ever done. I got the idea of using the the Celtic chariot from. Uh, Hansberger Donkey, I think, his YouTube channel. Uh, I don't ever think he put, put a finished version of it up, but um, he used the Victrix. This is a Victrix chariot, Celtic chariot. So is the rider from that, actually, and the reins. And uh, the horses and the wheels are from... I'm sure everybody has seen this kit, so this isn't going to be a surprise. From one of these... Even though the box looks brand new, I didn't buy it brand new, obviously. I mean, I didn't buy a fully new kit. I got a real knackered condition one and restored it, you know. But yeah, this guy, he's a, he's from uh, Fireforge Miniatures, the, the body head, GW. That is loose, brilliant. Uh, the arms are from my bits box. No idea where they come from. But yeah, the main chariot is the bit you want to know, isn't it? It's just... Yeah, GW skeleton horses and wheels, and then Victrix chariot. Really nice little kit. That Victrix chariot is very nice. I thought it was a bit small to begin with. It's it's really tiny, like when you put it together. But actually, I mean, the Oathmark skeletons and stuff they they fit perfect on there. And then I wanted two. I actually want three. I'll be making another one probably. Maybe I'll put a video up of that when it's done. But, um, yeah, I made an archer one. Which also performed quite nicely. Yeah, same deal, but I stuck some Oathmark skeletons on there. And I think the body of that one is a GW skeleton, but I can't remember. Yeah, so that's that. Side note about um, the chariots. I, I don't know if I was using the rules wrong, maybe someone can correct me. But it's been a while since I looked at the book, because it's Friday. But they they were really cool in the game that we played, because... You can you can shoot then move into combat, so you take one of them uh, and they, I actually every time he shot he he killed one of my spearmen, so I mean it was it was handy and then uh, charged into combat and took out another like four no three took out another three every time he he charged it every time these charged they did damage they were brilliant these chariots cavalry he didn't do so well yeah I pretty much wiped them out. In fact, I did wipe them all out, which was nice, because he had a king in there as well, and I managed to kill him. Yeah, really fun, really fun. Oath. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so that, that's that. That's just a uh, thought I'd show off uh, a bit of my undead, you know. Yeah, maybe and next time I might do a little showcase video of my human army, because I have quite a sizable human force. And I'm working on some orcs next. Orcs and goblins. That would be rad. And in fact, I'm going to make a, a goblin chariot as well. So, you know, if you're interested in that, you know, stick around. I still have to do the king, the, uh, the orc king, and I've got some more orcs to paint. I'm going to make them orc warriors, the next ones. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, leave a comment and all that crap, you know. Tara.